slowly. Good. Have you got the doll? What time is it? Almost midnight. Now remember, there are tricks in the divide. They will do anything to come through. You have to be vigilant and pick the right one. Some of them do not like being woken. And if we're not careful, the wrong one will come flooding through. No matter what happens, you need to remain in the room until I close the circle. Do you understand? Exita spiritibus domina es crauli. Consurgit tibi dissimus. It is Madame Crowley, and I'm calling to the spirits. Open your door and let us in. Spirits, listen to me. We're looking for Cheryl Newstub. Find her and bring her to us. Etiam inveniet iam nobis. Now. If someone is with us, tap once. If there is someone here, please tap once. Maybe there's no one here. Cheryl? Cheryl, is that you? Cheryl, are you still here? Is that you, Cheryl? Tap once for yes, twice for no. Jessica is here and wants to speak to you. Can you speak with her? Speak, Jessica. Cheryl? Cheryl, is that you? Please, I just need to speak to you. It's been six years without you and I just need to speak to you. I just need to ask you something. I'm here. Cheryl? Yes. Cheryl, is that really you? Yes. Cheryl, I need to ask you something. Yes. Do you forgive me? Cheryl, do you forgive me? No. Why not? You let him take me. 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 No! I didn't! I told you to wait for me! I came back and you'd gone! I looked so hard for you! Pale skin, fair hair is what I like. What? It's a matter of time. For what? I heard your screams in the dark when you were alone. I will taste you. I will wear your skin. I will bathe in your blood. You're not shackled. Where's Cheryl? Where's my sister? Who are you? Benjamin. Benjamin Hoffman. Hello, Jessica. The embers here are hot. My 
urges for you. Oh, God. Speak to you. Bring back Madam Crowley. Bring her back! We're coming through. Madam Crowley? Come back. Madam Crowley, can you hear me? Come back! Stefan had enough now. Mm. 
Is the back door locked? Yeah. yeah. Cheers. Just tidy up and lock the front door when you're done, alright? Oh, I do. Why are you carving a pumpkin now? Why do you want to know? Going to a party after work. That's all right. all right. Just don't make a mess and remember customers do come first. Yes. I know. I'll see you later. I hope not. <laughs> Kidding. And you're back with Steve here on FM22, and that was Bobby Pickett's Monster Mash. We hope you're all having a spectacular Halloween, and if the last song didn't get you in the mood, over the next hour we'll be telling some spine-tingling stories to get you all in tonight's spirit. Don't forget, you will all have the chance to call in later with your own gruesome tales of blood and horror. But now, to kick off tonight's Tales of Terror, there's a story that will have all parents reaching for their kids' sweet bags. Yeah, it wasn't that long, so that's fine. Did you have a nice time trick or treating? Yeah, we went to a house that gave us loads of sweets. Oh, is that right? Yeah, well, that was a bit like meh, but it was great fun after that. Did you get lots and lots and lots and lots? Yeah, mummy, please can I have some sweets before I go to bed? Not now. It's getting late. Please. No, you can have some in the morning. No. <gasps> Go on then, half a chocolate bar, then bed, all right? <laughs> you deal with this. I'm going to go and get changed. All right, no problem. Oh, um, I ought to go as well. That's all right. Thank you. Yeah, thanks again, Harriet. No this one, I want this one. That one, do you? All right. Ah. What? Just go to bed, Adam. But... You can't have this chocolate. Now, Adam. About. Look at this. Oh my god! Who the hell would do something like that? Jesus. Bastard. Jesus. Smell that. That smell bleeds to you. Harriet's Ben. I can check on Adam. The house you took Adam, where you got all the sweets. Were the sweets in plain wrappers? Um, hi, yeah. Yeah, where was the house? Um, I think it's on Baker Street, like the one with the red door. Okay, thanks. Why is everything I'm gonna go find this house! Lindsay! Thank you. Thank you. Here you go. Oh, my friend Sally, she's really 
It's pretty dead in here tonight. Yeah. It's Halloween, everyone's out having fun, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. Everyone but me. I'm not a Halloween fan. I don't dislike it. I'm just having a um, quiet night. Well, you can keep me company. If I ever get too much, we've got Steve on FM22 telling ghost stories. Mm. Mm. Now it's time for tale two. Brothers and sisters fight, I guess. Time for tale two. But this is a story of sibling rivalry taken way too far. <laughs> You're such a fucking weirdo. Please, leave me alone, Amber. If you don't, I'll... You'll what? I'll tell Dad. Cry back to Daddy like you've always done. I'll tell you this, Lana. From now on, I don't even have a sister. If anyone asked you, died a long time ago. I didn't do anything wrong. You made my boyfriend leave me. He left because of your freaky shit. They asked me to do it. They like me. They don't like you, Lana. No one likes you. Mum left because she couldn't stand the sight of your face. Mum's dead, Amber. She didn't leave. No, I'm sorry. Mum killed herself because she couldn't stand the sight of you. You're a piece of shit. Stop it, Amber. Stop it. You're horrible. You're gonna cry? You're pathetic. Stay away from me. I wish someone could come and show you how much you've hurt me. On the wind, I heard your cries. I'm here now, no need to cry. It's All Hallows Eve, don't you know? Tell me, young girl, what can I bestow? I want my sister to know how much she hurts me. You better piss off. Ow! What the hell is that? Your new best friend? You're not going to say anything? Fuck off home! Word of warning before I leave. Your wish is granted that I achieved. But I'll come back for you if I'm deceived. Keep my secret and I'll leave you in peace. I promise. Well, I guess it was a final straw for Lana. Get it? Straw? As in straw? Scarecrows are full of. Never mind. We're going to have a few songs now, so join us shortly for Tale 3. Oh, 
uh, I'll be right back. Mm. No worries. Well, I'm afraid I'm going to have to love you and leave you because my friend's just about now. Oh, wicked. I hope you have a lovely time. Oh, thanks for keeping me company, though. Oh, no, no worries. In fact, seeing as you are going, I'm going to shut up early. There's no point me staying here if there's no one here, is there? Why the hell not? <laughs> have fun. All right, Angie. See you later. Bye. 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 Me, I said we're closed. Listen, get the fuck out now, or else I'm gonna call the police. Are you fucking deaf? I said get out. Jenny, can you just talk to me whilst I'm calling up? No, just some weirdos just coming to public alone. Oh, I don't know if it was weird or not, I think we just trying to keep them out. Hello? No, no, it's just Andrew. She talks like him funny. Hello? are open to the public to tell their own yeah. scary stories. Right. Okay, first caller, take it away. My story is based on a true story. It's set in a bar on Halloween night. Stephanie is alone cleaning when some people break in. We can see you, Stephanie. We're watching you. Who's there? Look, just stop messing around. 